unique stories that define our state's character. Here's Kevin Mackey with this week's Montana Moment, brought to you by Montana Chevy Dealers. From the printing press to the internet, humankind has always created tools to make life easier. One of the most revolutionary inventions to save time and work was the sewing machine. The Butte Silver Bow Archives has opened a new exhibit showcasing antique sewing machines and the men who collected and repaired them. In our Montana moment, Kevin Mackey was so Butte. The late Virgil Sargent, known as Sarge, was a ranch-raised cowboy who appreciated the tools that made ranch life easier. For years, he worked as an auto mechanic. That was before he had a life-changing accident. He um, couldn't do that anymore, so he just decided with his mechanical ability to start repairing the sewing machines. Laura Sargent says Sarge was a self-starter. She worked closely with him. It was very special, she says. He was one of a kind. <laughs> My husband, um, Sarge, we used to own Broadway Antiques here in Butte for a number of years. These are 40-some of Sarge's machines at an exhibition called So Butte. All of them are in working order. The exhibit displays one machine as it might have come into the shop, from a barn or attic. He would take them apart, um, fix the missing pieces, make sure that everything was up and running on it. I would come through when he was done, thread it up, thread the bobbin up, and get it all the way so it would be up working sewing machine. Leslie Doyle worked with the sergeants for years doing retail, merchandising, and processing estate sales. Such an oddity, uh, in my opinion, for a crusty old cowboy like Sarge to have such a great love for sewing machines. But Leslie says Sarge became known all over the region for his ability to fix the machines. I called him the sewing machine guru of the western states. Sarge passed away in April 2022. This exhibit is a tribute to him. Sarge's mastery of mechanics lives on in these beautiful old machines. They date from 1880 yeah. to 1980. The exhibit shows the innovation of these machines from era to era. Sarge acquired every one of them from somebody in Butte or Silver Bow County as a whole. They don't call this exhibit so Butte, that's S-E-W for nothing. Every machine has a story. This is the oldest machine in the collection. It's a white treadle coffin top machine. Um, that probably came across the prairie in a covered wagon. Sarge was especially a, fond um, of the Singer machine. This is called a puzzle box, and each of these machines, Singer machines, in the treadle cabinets came with one of these, so you could use each of these attachments to create various um, stitches and designs. This is an unusual cabinet because um, this do door opens here, for added ventilation while you're working. These are hand crank machines. Uh, the power comes not from the treadle with your feet, but from um, your hand. They may be old fashioned, but they still serve an essential purpose, especially in developing countries. These machines allow women or men to um, sew in areas where there's no electricity. It allows them to provide a cottage industry feed their families. Rose is a quilter. She okay, says quilts were originally put well, together by hand. Sewing machines changed that. It sped up the process and it um, gave uh, women a lot more time to be probably maybe even more creative. The average person could get a machine and uh, it saved a lot of time and energy from going from hand sewing to uh, using a sewing machine. Sewing machines revolutionized all kinds of industry for binding books, shoemaking, tent making, sewing bags for agricultural use. In Butte, you would have found machines involved in lots of businesses, tailor shops, fur shops. There were sewing rooms here in Butte that employed a lot of women. Um, to make garments as uh, a way to make a living. These are photos of women working for the Works Progress Administration or WPA in the Great Depression. They produced all kinds of clothing. Everyday garments, uh, this is a work jacket, a mining work jacket. Jump ahead 30 or 40 years and you'll find more modern machines from the 60s, 70s and 80s. But today's machines are more sophisticated than those. The progression of machines that you'll see here um, shows us the um, engineering um, genius. My first um, 
goal was to set them for our community to enjoy and perhaps be inspired by. An industrial leather sewing machine stands in Sarge's honor, enhanced with a pair of his boots. Kevin Mackey, NBC, Montana. If you want to watch this story again, or if you missed one of my previous stories, you can watch every Montana moment in a special segment on our website at NBCMontana.com.